I had a very unusual patient. So, she came in with pain in her back and buttock area. It seemed like a very typical pain for a problem in the lumbar region. She hadn't been examined, but she had tried treating herself at home for a long time. Nothing helped. In other words, the pain was just constant, not related to movement or anything else. We did an MRI. Everything looks completely clear, nothing there. We take a closer look at the joints between the vertebrae. I think, maybe there's some kind of inflammation there, but it doesn't really look like anything obvious that would cause this kind of pain. We check the muscles with an ultrasound, and they do show some spasms. Something about this is really unusual. You know, it's like when a doctor has that gut feeling, after seeing so many cases. Something just really off, unusual, it doesn't fit. She just did some routine blood tests. And there too, well, nothing serious showed up. I asked her a question, by this point, after ruling everything out, I started digging into the weeds, as they say. I ask, do you ever get herpes? She says, yeah, often. I say, does it ever show up on your body? She says, yeah, sometimes on my back. And I know that the herpes virus is a neurovirus. It settles on the nerves, and because of that, you can get, well, that kind of clinical picture too. Herpes, of course, everyone has it, but it's supposed to live in the oropharynx and shouldn't get into the bloodstream. And she gets tested, and her herpes titers were really high. I sent her to our therapist, who's really great at dealing with this. For her, literally, I don't know, from the very first appointments, the pain started to go away. It wasn't an orthopedic problem, it was a virus, 